Hello and welcome to Driving TV, your go-to channel for all things related to driving skills and road safety and um, everything you need to know about becoming a confident, responsible driver. So whether you're gearing up for your first time um, doing a written driving examination or perhaps you're just brushing up on your knowledge, um, you're in the right place. Today, I've put together a comprehensive video, very brief, but specifically for all of those people out there who are preparing to take their written driving exam. I know firsthand that it can be very nerve wracking when it comes to taking this um, driver's examination. So I thought it'd be helpful to share some last minute tips to boost your confidence and increase your chances of passing with flying colors. So let's get right to it. First things first, understanding the written exam. So let's start by understanding what the written exam, um, written driving examination entails. So typically this test consists of multiple choice questions designated, well, designed to uh, evaluate your knowledge of traffic laws, road signs, and safe driving practices. You can expect to face questions regarding right of way, speed limits, parking regulations, and many more. The number of questions and the passing score may vary depending on your location. So be sure to check your local uh, department of motor vehicle for specific um, details regarding that. So now I want to talk about preparing for the exam because to increase your chances of success, it's important to familiarize yourself with the material that may appear on the exam. So start by reviewing your state striper manual, so which is very valuable. It's a very, very valuable resource because that covers um, all essential information that you can possibly need to know for this uh, driver's examination. Additionally, consider seeking out practice tests to um, simulate the exam experience and identify any areas where you may need additional study. Other than that, what do you expect after the test? So after you took the test, what can you expect? After completing your written examination, the next steps will depend whether or not you pass or fail. If you pass, congratulations to you. You'll likely receive your learner's permit or driver's license, depending on the type of exam that you took. If you don't pass, do not be discouraged though, because you will have the opportunity to retake the test, but after a designated waiting period. Use this um, learning experience though to focus on areas that you feel that you might need to um, study more and practice uh, in order to improve and then you could pass on the next try. <laughs> so where precisely to study? So in addition to the valuable information that you find right here on Driving TV, um, there are other resources available to help you prepare for this written examination, right? So. Consider checking out study guides and um, practice tests from places that are uh, reliable, such as the local DMV website, official driver's education websites, or even apps, specifically the ones that are designed to help you study for the exam. Now, remember one thing. The more you familiarize yourself with the material, the more confident that um, you're going to be and feel on the testing. So building confidence is very, very key and crucial, right? So um, consider forming maybe a study group with friends or family members who are also preparing for, for their exams or who already maybe took the exam and passed and, and can help you, right? This provides a very supportive environment for learning and, and help you stay motivated. Additionally, don't underestimate the power of good rest and relaxation. 
Make sure that um, you get a good night's sleep before the exam. Feel um, very rested and hydrated uh, so you can focus on the big day. This just keeps moving. I'm so sorry. There you go. So, in conclusions, I hope this uh, these little tips, this is a very brief video, but I hope it was helpful to you guys. And I hope uh, it'll help you prepare for that written driving examination. Remember, learning to drive is a process. It's completely normal to feel nervous about the exam. Keep studying, which is very important, but stay focused and believe in yourself, right? And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to Chirai TV. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on upcoming videos that I will be posting this week. Um, we'll be covering a range of topics that I'm sure you don't want to miss and are going to be very, very helpful to you. Good luck on your test and I wish you the very best. Don't be nervous and um, stay tuned.